Hello everyone and welcome to a beginner tutorial on jQuery. I'm going to show you the basic jQuery hide and show functionality. You can see here in the example that basically you click on the button and it will hide the current div and you click on the show button and it will show the div block. Uh, it doesn't look like much but what is actually happening is jQuery is toggling uh, hide and show and it's dynamically adding it to the DOM of the HTML page. So this is very simple to create and I just wanted to create this as a basic jQuery hide and show tutorial. So we'll go ahead and get started here with a blank index.html file. Uh, we'll add a blank HTML structure and I'll just call this uh, jQuery hide and show. And inside the body we'll probably want to have a button. So we'll have an input type <clears throat> button and we'll give it a value of hide and a class of hide underscore show. This will be how we reference the button. And we'll want to create a div. We'll just call it block. This is basically just going to be the block that we're going to hide and show, this block right here. <clears throat> so this is what the current page looks like, and obviously there's nothing. Uh, we have to add first the jQuery library. All right, and we'll go ahead and get this from the jQuery.com website. And I'll just copy the Google jQuery library and link to it from my page. And then we'll need to add some style to the page, just so we can add style to the box. So we'll give it a background color <clears throat> of a light gray. We'll make the width 300 pixels and the height 150 pixels. And we'll give it a display block. Okay. So right now our page will look like this. Uh, there we go. Alright, our page will look like this. And nothing is happening yet because we haven't added that functionality. Okay, now to add that functionality, we <clears throat> will create some jQuery. Okay, so we'll want to have a click event for the hide show button. Once the user clicks this button, we want to detect if, we can do multiple things, detect if the block is shown or if it's already hidden, what to do off of there, but we'll just change it based off of what's in the value of the input type. And right now the value is set to hide. So we will do an if statement. And what I've just created is the dollar sign this. <clears throat> and what that is, is it's basically going to be whenever you're inside of a function, the using this will just refer to the current object uh, block you are in. So we're in a click event for the hide show button, and dollar sign this will refer to that same button. So we'll say if that button's value is equal to hide, then obviously we want to, or actually, if that is set to hide, then we will want to hide the object. So we'll refer to the block and we'll set it to hide. And we also want to set the value of the button 
to show. And if the value is not set to high, then obviously it'll be set to show. So we know that in return we need to show the block and set the value button to hide. And that's basically it right there. That's the functionality that will show and hide the block. So if we click on hide, show will be now be the value of the button and you click on it again and it will show and hide the div. And in a future tutorial, I'll show you how to do a simple toggle that will reduce the overhead of having to detect if it's currently hidden or shown. But that is the basic functionality for the jQuery hide and show. And I will have the code posted on this page as well as a link to the simple demo. Thank you for watching and I will see you soon.